Yep. You compiled these documents pretty well. You worked hard, didn't you, Fukumaru-kun? Good job. I breathed out a sigh of relief after my direct supervisor, Marie Tamura, approved my work. Oh, thank God. Is this something to be that relieved over? Of course it is. It's a pretty big project, after all. Is that it? What does that mean? Well, I just thought maybe you were scared of me or something. That's not true. Are you sure? Of course. If you say so. Hey, should we celebrate after this today? Just the two of us? That's up to you, Fukumaru-kun. I'm not a child, so I understood what her words were trying to imply. My heart moved just a little bit. Mari-san was beautiful and nice, even if she was a bit strict sometimes. She was young, but was a promising employee at her company. And there were many men who had their eyes on her. Maybe one or two steps. If I initiated those steps towards her, perhaps it was possible for me to reach her. No, I think I'll pass on tonight. Please invite me again on another day. Listen, Fukumaru-kun. I'm not going to take that as a social pleasantry, you know. I'm actually going to invite you again. Of course, I really just can't make it tonight. Why not? I have to work overtime since I paused other assignments to work on these documents. Oh, I'm sorry. That's true. If you're asking me to join you for overtime and not drinking, I'd love to join. Oh, what a wonderful invitation. Thank you. Maybe we should work overtime together then. Yeah, that might be fun. No, I don't think it'd be fun. Is that so? Yeah, of course not. That's what I said, but working together might be a lot more fun than working alone. That's what I was thinking in my head. In the end, I had to work overtime until the clock struck midnight. Ugh, so tired. Well, I do feel good, though. I don't hate the feeling of finishing up a pile of tasks. Guess I'll have to lift my ban on alcohol for tonight. I'll buy some drinks and snacks at the convenience store and have a glass while I watch a movie at home. I'll do just that. I become an old man before I realized it. It was at that moment, I heard a woman's voice from somewhere. It was a voice that I recognized. My legs were instinctively moving towards it. Like I said, just come to my place. I'll decline. I don't have any money. I don't need money. It can pay me in some other way. I can't do that. I can't. I can't. Why not? You're not my type. I like that. A firm woman who's a little rude. Exactly my type. Huh, Kyle? What are you doing? Tsutomu? Uh, was I interrupting something? <laughs> Stupid! Come on, let's go home. I was waiting for you. Hey! Okay then, my boyfriend's here, so I'm going home. Excuse me. Thank you for entertaining me while I waited. Uh, hey, what does that mean? Come on, just go along with it. That annoying guy was bothering me. I see. You're honestly not attentive at all. I could hear the man grumbling at us from behind me. Kaho ignored me, grabbed my arm, and started walking. You can probably let go of my arm now. After walking about five minutes away from the park, I spoke out. I know that. I shouldn't keep clinging on to my ex-boyfriend's arm, right? That's been a while. Yeah. We haven't seen each other since our high school graduation, so it's been a couple of years now. We're both adults now, huh? I heard you moved out to Tokyo, but I know you came back here. Pretty much about six months ago. Hmm. You too, Tsutomu. I didn't know you found a job here. My suit doesn't fit me well, does it? Absolutely not. It's <laughs> saggy and wrinkled. Shut up. This woman, Kaho Mayuzumi, was my Setsomo Fukumari's ex-girlfriend from high school. We dated for two years, a long time considering that we were high school students. Every time I think of my adolescence and youth, memories of her would pop up as though they were bookmarked. But no matter how sweet those memories were, they were just bitter now. All because our love ended one day, very abruptly. By the way, Tsutomu, do you live alone right now? Yeah, I do. Perfect. Let me stay over. What? I have nowhere to go. What have you been doing until today? I was freeloading at my friend's apartment, but she kicked me out because she got a boyfriend. Horrible, isn't it? What about your parents? Are you being serious right now? She glares at me. That's right. Kao didn't have a good relationship with her parents. But you know, you're technically a woman. I'm not technically a woman. I am a woman. I'm not talking about that. After Kaho realized what I was hinting at, she let out an understanding sound. Hmm? You have guts for that? You've grown, huh? Stop making fun of me. I mean, you were a wimp back in high school. Well, it should be fine, right? An ex-boyfriend is like the next safest male after a father. So, where's your apartment? 
turn left at the next corner. Okay, okay, let's go. Even after several days passed, Kahal didn't try to move out of my place. I'm gonna make stew for dinner tonight. Okay, okay. Oh, Tsutomu, hold on a second. You're still bad at fixing your tie? You were like this back in high school, too. I remember how I used to fix my tie like this back then, too. <laughs> That's true. All right, perfect. Thanks. Get going. Yep, I will. Mornings like this have been going on for a while now. When I got to my office, Mari-san immediately tilted her head in questioning. Fukumaru-kun, you changed somehow, didn't you? Huh? Where? I mean, you seem to be doing well recently. That's true, now that you mention it. I might be doing well. Your shirt isn't wrinkled, your tie isn't crooked, and you don't have bedhead either. Yeah, you could have at least warned me if you noticed that. I thought it was fine since you fixed yourself up before meetings. I thought it was kind of cute, too. Cute? That's not a word you should use on an adult male. Oops, my apologies. But seriously, why? I kind of started putting in more effort. After I stopped wasting time on my phone, I was able to find time to focus on other things. It wasn't a complete lie. It was true that the time I spent on my phone now was less than half the amount of time I used to spend on my phone when I was alone. You read a self-help book or something, didn't you? No, it's nothing like that. It's fine, it's fine, you're at that age now. But that makes me feel relieved. What does? Uh, you know, I thought you found yourself a girlfriend or something. It's nothing like that. But Fukumaru-kun, you're pretty popular, aren't you? No way, you're the popular one, Mari-san. It's not that much. M maybe it is? I haven't had a girlfriend for a while. Mari-san smiled happily after I said that. Oh, I think I like the taste of the still. Really? That's good then. Yeah, yeah, it's delicious. Super good. By the way, we're about to run out of toilet paper. Can you buy some on your way back from work? I gave you money for living expenses, didn't I? Was that not enough? Nope, it's enough. I'm pretty good at saving. Can you buy it then? You go shopping every day, don't you? I don't want to because it'll make my bag bulky. I swear. I know. We should meet up after your work tomorrow then. At the supermarket? Yep, at the supermarket. That's better, right? What an unromantic meeting spot. What were you hoping for from your ex-girlfriend? Honestly. Hey. What is it? If... This is a hypothetical question. If that thing didn't happen when we were in high school, do you think we still would have been together like this? Are you still angry about it? Of course not. It was a long time ago. I think we would have. I wanted to believe that we still would have been together. I see. Yeah. The reason Kaho and I broke up was a common fight. One day, Kaho asked to talk to me with a solemn look on her face and told me that she wanted to end things. Why? Why are you suddenly saying that you want to break up? Why don't you ask yourself that question? Seriously, I don't have any clue about what's going on. You cheated on me, didn't you? Excuse me? I saw you. I didn't cheat on you. Boys always make excuses. I can't believe you. Kyle's father was someone who often cheated, and her mother cried many times over it. But no matter how many times her mother cried and was deceived, she forgave her husband in the end. Because of that upbringing, Kaho found it hard to trust people and had a stubborn personality. After Kaho became like this, she wouldn't believe anything that anyone said. Because I knew that, I gave up. Just like that, the two of us disappointingly broke up. Even the deepest and most sincere love ended with disappointment. I'm headed out now. Oh, hold on a second. What is this? Your lunch. This should help save you a couple of dollars on lunch, right? You don't need to do all that. I make a pretty decent amount of money, you know? You're too easy on yourself. You should save money where you can. Hey. What is it? Thanks. I wasn't honest with my feelings earlier, but the truth is that this makes me super happy. You're welcome. Good luck at work. Yeah, thanks. Also, don't forget about meeting up with me after. Don't worry, I got it. I was feeling wonderful from very early in the morning. Fukumaru-kun has evolved into a bento box making male. What? Why are you in that much despair? Listen, Fukumaru-kun. Boys who are way too perfect aren't popular. It's better to be unguarded in some places. You know, it'll make females feel inferior or something. Oh, I'm sorry. Why am I getting lectured again? Anyway, that bento box looks delicious. Would you like to try it? Huh? I can? Just a little bit, okay? I don't eat that much. Mmm, it's delicious. I'm glad. 
Your wife is going to be one happy woman, isn't she? After I heard that, I thought of the one woman who made this bento box for me. Would you like to go out for food? As my way of saying thanks. We're eating right now, aren't we? Not now. At night. Dinner. I remembered my promise to Kaho for a moment and thought about declining. But I had also said no to Marisa on the previous time. I'll go with you then. <laughs> now you're talking. I finished cleaning, did laundry, prepared dinner, and still had some time left. I was lounging around when my phone buzzed with a notification. It was from Sutomu. My supervisor invited me out for drinks. I'm sorry, let's go shopping tomorrow. I was a little angry. I already got things prepared for dinner though, gosh. <sighs> I was a little angry and sulked a little, but this was fun in some way too. I guess it can't be helped. It's important to maintain work relationships after all. Besides, unlike high school, I didn't have the right to hold him back from things anymore. Okay, okay, have fun. And send. The fact that I saw them was a coincidence again. Yes, the exact same situation as high school. Tsutomu told me that he had an important thing to do that day too, and suddenly canceled his plans with me. I was young back then and believed him. I thought we both matured a little bit though. It seems like things were still the same. Tsutomu seemed to be working hard, so I thought I'd go get toilet paper on my own. When I left the house, I found him. He looked like he was having fun walking with a very pretty young woman. My heart hurt. Just like it did in high school, my heart ached. I know the name of this pain inside my heart. It's called love. Even if we broke up, even if multiple years passed, more than anything, even after he betrayed me, I had always, always been in love with Tsutomu. I was the same as the mother that I claimed to hate so much. The apartment that I came back to after drinking with Marisa was dark. It was supposed to be a familiar scene, but I somehow had a bad feeling. That bad feeling was right. With a flick, I turned on the light, but Kaho was nowhere to be seen. Her belongings had all disappeared too. I felt a chill run through my spine. I didn't even bother to change before I ran out of my apartment. I ran around all the places I knew. The park where I reunited, the supermarket where I was supposed to meet her. Her female friend's house that she had been living in for a while. Even her parents' house. Kaho was nowhere to be found. The only place left is... The moon was watching me run. I'm surprised you knew where I was. I didn't, I didn't, so I searched everywhere. I ironed your shirt for you, but it's all wrinkled from your sweat now. I need you to wash this and iron it out again tomorrow. Kaha was at our old high school. She couldn't go inside, so she was sitting alone in the corner of the campus. I can't do that anymore. I'm moving out of your place. Why are you angry? I'm not angry. You are angry. I'm not angry! Let's say you move out of my place. Do you even have anywhere to go? I'll do something about it. A weird man might come up to bother you again. That might be a good thing. Kaho! You don't need to get that angry with me. Besides, besides it hurts my heart to be with you, Tsutomu. I have so much fun and it makes me happy. But my emotions are all over the place after some small thing. So it's whatever now. Leave me alone. You should just go and get along with your pretty girlfriend. Girlfriend? I know already. You were walking with her this afternoon. I can't believe you used the excuse that you were out with your supervisor. Are you talking about Marisan? So her name's Marisan, huh? <laughs> I don't know what you saw and what misunderstanding you had, but that woman is actually my supervisor. You don't need to do this anymore. I do. There's no point in making excuses for me anyway. Of course there is. Besides, I always regretted making excuses and not communicating with you back then. I always had a needle stuck in my chest until today. Listen, Kaho, you overthink too much. Or one-sided. And don't listen to other people at all. Those things about you haven't changed at all. You don't need to tell me that. I already know! But I'm the same too. I haven't changed from back then either. I've always, always been in love with you. I haven't been able to move on these past few years. What? I asked my older cousin to come shopping with me back in high school because I wanted to give this to you. You know, I wanted to check how it fit. I pulled out the present that I had stuffed in my desk until Kaho came over to my apartment again from my pocket and handed it to her. I didn't want her to find it while cleaning, so I kept it on me. This is for me? 
a present for a two-year anniversary. It might be a super cheap thing now, but it was all I could afford at the time. I thought that you'd be happy, but you didn't listen to a single thing I had to say. You left me one-sidedly. I was pissed off. I thought about throwing it away. But just like my feelings for you, I couldn't throw it out all this time. But... but I mean... Then what about that woman from this afternoon? I think Marie-san likes me. No, let me be honest. She confessed her feelings to me earlier. She wanted me to be her boyfriend. But I turned her down. I mean, I'm already in love with someone else. She's a huge overthinker. Selfish, one-sided, never listens to me. Super good at household chores. Cute. I'm the girl I've been in love with since high school. I was out of breath, but I also felt a little better. Kaho, I love you. Yeah? That's why I want you to stay with me. Yeah. I don't want you to go anywhere else. Yeah. Can I trust you, Tsutomu? Yeah, just trust me. I never betrayed you. I won't ever betray you. I hugged Kaho's body tightly. Something I hadn't done in a couple of years. Guess what? I prepared things for dinner. Why? Why? Didn't I text you that I don't need dinner tonight? It was late. I was already done with everything by the time you texted. Then I guess I'll eat. I mean, I was going to tell you that we should eat it tomorrow. I'm hungry now because the house running around looking for a certain someone. I'll eat. Uh, I'm sorry. That's why. Uh, will you make me your delicious food again? Today, tomorrow, the day after that, until forever? It's been a while since I ate out, but it wasn't that good. I guess I already grabbed your stomach, huh? Yup, yup. So, you better take responsibility for that. Guess so. I'll carry anything heavy. Okay. Let's live like that, the two of us. Forever and ever. This time, I swore that I was never letting go of her hand. <laughs>